So here's Kaimi Fairbairn to do the honors. And off we go on EA Sports. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. The six foot three QB from Central Michigan leading him out there, and that's Cooper Rush. This guy's leadership is so important to how this offense functions. He doesn't shrink from any moments on game day, and everything he does, he does with confidence. He sets the example in practice off the field and is the guy leading everyone out for each possession. Throwing right away is Rush. On the out route, it's Lamb with a grab. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Now a second and two. Rush. This throw left side is caught by Tolbert. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Play fake. Here's Rush. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there on the opening drive, but that ball's incomplete. Second and ten. Now Rush. Open man is Mingo, complete. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. From the midfield strife, they'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. Well, another completion right there. And again, Charles, good time in the pocket. That offensive line on this opening drive been really solid. They've been more than solid. They've really tamped down the pass rush and kept him safe in the pocket able to look around, find his target, and deliver. He's got to make sure he tells the offensive line in the huddle. Thanks, fellas. Let's keep it going. To throw is Rush. Out of his hands quickly to C.D. Lamb. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball, and sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. They've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resistance. And that's the point, because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. But I flip it over and watch and say, OK, what are you going to do to change things up? Because if you don't, they're going to put that ball in the end zone real soon. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. From the two now, second and goal. Throwing here, Rush. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Jonathan Mingo, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight.
They got to love that. Nine play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And able to get this out to the 25. Texans offense heading out behind their quarterback in his second season. Last year's offensive rookie of the year, C.J. Stroud. And he's coming off of a truly remarkable rookie season where he quieted a lot of his doubters in a most emphatic fashion. Remember, going into the draft, many thought he was the number two quarterback coming out of college. He proved quickly he was a top quarterback going into the NFL. One of the best rookie seasons by a quarterback in recent memory. And what's scary about it, he's not even close to reaching his ceiling. On the ground, this is Joe Mixon. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Second and six, just inside the 30. Again, it's Mixon. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Stroud sets up the play action. Puts it on the carpet, it's out. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. The fumble on first down now, here's second down. Play action, Stroud now. That one complete, it's Tank Dell. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 39. A gain there of 21 yards. This is all about finding the open space in the middle of the field. How do you do that? One way is through play action. That's going to freeze those linebacks for just a split second, and sometimes that's all you need. They run a deep in route behind them, and it works to perfection. Stroud looking to throw. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Now a second and ten. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. But it looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackled him for a loss. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. The throwing again is Stroud. And he will go down, a Cowboys sack. 
Chauncey Golston drops him for a four-yard loss there, and that brings up fourth down. But certainly not an ideal first quarter for him. Remember, he lost the fumble earlier, and here he ends up on the ground with a sack. And sometimes what happens when you make a mistake early, you get too cautious going forward. Just cover up the football and take care of it and be able to cut it loose. Otherwise, your offense is going to stall. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. And a gain of about four here moves this from the six up to the ten. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second and six. Here's Rush to throw. And got his man complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. What a first quarter he's been putting together. He scored the touchdown earlier, and he's in phase right out of the gate. Right now, he's playing with such confidence, he doesn't believe that they have an answer for him no matter what they do on defense. And here's another big play to prove his point. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. They go play action with Rush. He'll air one out deep for Mingo. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. Here's second and 10. Back to throw Rush. That's into the hands of Tolbert. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds, because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 27-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it, we can always lock in on the skill position, guys. But those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. And he'll go right back to Lamb. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Looking to throw again on second down. Rush. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. On the run, it's Dowdle. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Rico Dowdle taking it in from the 20. And the Cowboys go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Well, they were looking to pick up the first down on third and short. They got a little more than they bargained for, finding the end zone as well. And oftentimes in short yardage situations, you get a lot of defenders stacked